Hey guys, I just wanted to take a few minutes um, and jump on here and um, just share something that I feel like will really help us in this season that we're in. Um, it's something that um, God has had me doing and he's had me teaching on here lately. Um, and right now with so much going on, I think it's very important that we understand who we are um, as children of God. If we're born again, um, we are Christians, which is what we call ourselves. We need to understand that means that we are to be Christ-like. I'm to be like Christ and have the mind of Christ, which is what the Bible tells me. And um, we should be thinking and acting accordingly as our Father would have us to do. The only way we're going to know how to do that, number one, is we have to stay in the Word of God. And we need to stay in prayer and seek out what it is that the Lord is telling us and saying to us. Um, the Word of God is the very heart of the Father, um, and it tells us everything we need to know about how to live our lives day to day, how to raise our families, how to manage our finances, um, everything that it is that we deal with. That is our standard that we go by, and that is our rule book that we follow. Okay, those are our basic instructions. Um, if we try to put a bike together for our child without following the instructions, we all know how well that turns out, right? So we need to make sure we're following the instructions. But something I find that it's very important to ask ourselves with so much going on right now, um, like I said, and that he's had me asking and he's had me really teaching on for the body is, number one, what do I believe? And the follow-up question to that would be, why do I believe that? Okay, so number one, we need to take a... Um, a self-reflection of, you know, what do I believe? What are the things that I believe that I have based my life on as my belief system? And number two, why do I believe those things? You know, sometimes we believe things that um, from an early age we were taught. Um, somebody in our family with influence over us told us those things. And so we listened to what they said and we took that in our spirit and that's what we believed. And we've believed that our whole lives, okay? So was it maybe something that was taught to us or something that my mom told me or my pastor told me and I didn't read out for myself and I didn't search out for myself? Is that really true? Okay, um, where is the, basically, what is the source? What is the source of that belief? Where is that coming from? There's been things in my life and in my mind that I've had to tear down because I realized that, you know, that belief came from something else in my life that I was attached to or connected to or someone else. And as a daughter of God, I have to seek out what does my father say? What is the correct belief system that I need to have? And I think if you sit down and you really search that out for yourself and ask those important questions, um, I think you're going to get a lot of... Um, revelation on that that's really going to help you. I know it's helped me to really sit down and say, well, what do I believe? And search that out. And remember, the Word of God is our guideline. It is our rule book. It is our standard. And some things are not as e our gray areas. Some things are not gray areas. And so we need to really make sure that we're understanding what do I believe, number one, and why do I believe that? And really just take some time and seek the Lord on those two questions. And may you grow from faith to faith and glory to glory. Be blessed.